In this short tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to build your first custom component on Pipedream. And using our special Gitpod instant development environment, you don't even need to install anything into your local machine, you're up and running. So I have a terminal open here, and it's set to the root directory of the Pipedream repository, or my fork of it from the official Pipedream repository. I'm gonna enter into the components directory, and here's where you can see all of the public open source components to use in your workflows on Pipedream. I'm just gonna quickly create a new directory just called personal for my own personal components I'm gonna to deploy to my account. Then I'm going to enter into this directory. Now it's best practice to create a actions section within an app. So I'm going to do that as well and enter into this. So now you can see we're in the Pipedream Components Personal Actions repository. Now, I run into cases where I would like to round a number or trim it from several decimal places just down to two. This is really common for handling money, for example. So I'm gonna create a new action. I'm just gonna call it trim number. So we can do this by using the PD CLI tool just entering the PD command will tell us all the available actions, or command, I should say, available to us. And we can start with initializing a component. So PD init is the command we're looking for, and it should prompt us to ask for an action, or an app, or a source. In this video, we only are caring about building an action, but we'll cover the other two in other videos. And I'm gonna give it the name trim number. That should create a brand new action within our component. That should create a brand new action within our directory. So I'm gonna show you in the file structure up here on the left-hand side. I'm gonna scroll down to the personal area that we just created. And then there's a trim number action. Here we can see the real meat and potatoes, so to speak, of the component. It looks really similar to a Node.js code step, that's because they're one and the same system, the component system. We covered these basic similarities between Node.js code steps and components within our Components 101 video, but just to reiterate, the big differences here are the name, version, key, description, and type properties on this object. These fields help add new elements to the UI in the builder mode, and they also allow us to keep track of the version in case you make changes to this action in the future, that way you get that little prompt to update the action in your workflow. If there is a new version available, you've made changes to your code. All right, so let's get started. The first thing you may notice that's a little bit different is that the run method accepts a dollar sign, but does not accept a step or the steps object like you would in a workflow or Node.js code step action. This is because we have to use props to inject our data into this step. You can think of this component as an uninitialized action. It can be used across many different workflows. So the steps aren't concrete. We need to use props to separate the references of steps from actual component code. This will become more clear once we render it in the UI. But first, let's define the props in our component, and this will be all more clear as we go along. So let's add the number that we wanna change, right? So this is the number. Its type is actually a string because it's a float, and we don't, we don't support floats as a type in the component API. It's either string or integers, and we'll just convert it when it comes in in the run function. And this label will be number to convert. We'll just call it number for now. And under the description, that's where we'll say this, we'll describe this number as number to be rounded. And then the rounding is the actual number of decimal points we wanna change, right? So it'll be an integer, and we'll say the label is number of decimal places to round to. And we'll just leave a description that's simple, like, for example, if given two, then the number 
will be rounded to two decimal places. And I actually need a typo up here. I need to change this to description is the correct attribute name. We'll go down here and we'll just quickly first reference these values. We'll say this dot number is the number to be changed, right? So we need to change it into a float by using the built-in parse float function in JavaScript. So now we could say, I like to call it subject. This, is, this variable is sub, subject to a change. I'm just call it subject. And then I'm going to actually apply the changing. So we're gonna return the result of the subject as it's changed with the to fixed function. The to fixed method will actually apply the rounding for us. So I'm gonna pass in the prop that we defined called rounding. We'll just call it rounding number just to make it a little bit more clear. Rounding number, rounding number, and that's it. So this is a two line action and everything looks good. Let's go ahead and publish it to our account. So to publish an action to our account, we have to use the PD publish command, and then we can reference the action. So under actions, we have a trim number folder, and then the trim number module in JavaScript. And if all goes well, you'll see the response is successful, and it, ver it published the very first version, 00 0.1. We can go back to our Pipestream account, and then we can see under the My Actions tab, that there is a brand new function, trim number, available for us to use. So let's give it a number. We'll say 19, 1234, 1234. And we want to trim it to two. We'll test this, and hopefully we did this right. And we can see the return value is simply 19.2. It performed the precision rounding to two decimal points for us. So now we don't have to worry about how the heck do we use two fixed? What does that mean? And save ourselves that Google search and just use the trim number function available under our account. And that covers the very basics of how to build your first action with Pipedream. Next, I'm gonna teach you how you can update your actions using the version system.